Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom mom for our Redmi Note 11. And this time this is the Vido S as you can see here. The Vido S version is 2.0 uh, and it is the beta version for our Redmi Note 11 devices. And as you can see here, its Android version is Android 13. And its security patch is all the way latest 5 November 2022. And you can check other uh, details like google play system update is also android th uh, 13 and uh, you can check the kernel version and build number as well so in this video i will be reviewing it out and i will also show you how you can install it on your redmi note 11 so without any further ado let's get started so this rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom so first of all let me show you that everything is just working fine as you can see here bluetooth is working i have already connected to my bluetooth uh, sorry wi-fi and uh, if we talk about the Bluetooth, Bluetooth is also working. Hotspot is uh, uh, working uh, perfectly. Mobile data is working. Let me go into the setting and then I will show you that every single thing is just working fine. And from here, you can also enable the hotspot. And from this icon, you can uh, check the hotspot is also, also working perfectly. So there is no any single bug or issue in this room. Everything is just working fine. So. In the home screen here we have a launcher and this one is the launcher launcher so from here you can enable the notification dots as well by following these steps and uh, here we have some uh, options we don't get any advanced options in this launcher and at the top we have the wallpaper option from here you can change the wallpaper by default we only get this wallpaper pre-installed but don't worry you can download uh, more wallpapers from uh, google and uh, from here you can access the wallpaper colors you can also get the basic colors you can enable or disable the dark theme which is working uh, perfectly and you can also enable the themed icons and uh, you can also change the upgrade by enabling the themed icon your theme will look like this as you can see here this looks pretty much cool the uh, the colors of icons will will be matched with the color of wallpaper and from the left you can access the google feeds and if we talk about the camera application here we have this simple camera pre-installed as you can see here from here you can simply uh, take the photos and capture the videos and if you want more features like portrait mode night mode and other, all other advanced modes then you can go for a gcam from the play store or you can also download any gcam mode from our website 9to5modes.com I will drop the download link in the description box and uh, by the way you can also add uh, the widgets to your home screen to customize it as you can see here I have customized my own screen and it just looks pretty much cool and beautiful let's go to the widgets and from here you can check a lot of widgets are available to be added on the home screen as you can see here you can add any of these to your home screen so if we talk about the application we don't get a lot of junky applications pre-installed we only get the needed and uh, useful applications and if you want more applications or game you can go to the play store and download and play any game or application on it i have also uh, run a geekbench test and here are the results it just scored uh, 376 on single core and uh, 14 54 on dual core or multi core so these scores are not pretty much uh, impressive but still they are acceptable and uh, they are not uh, at the level of the stock MIUI so but you can still do a lot of stuff using this ROM like you can play or uh, use any application you can play any game like PUBG mobile on higher FPS because this display is supported by 90 Hz refresh rate now let's go to the settings and let me show you what customizations we have and if we talk about the uh, quick settings here we have uh, some useful shortcuts right here and the UI of quick settings look pretty much beautiful at the top we, here we have a, a new clock and here you can check the date from here you can che uh, check the from here you can check the time from here you can check the date and uh, all other stuff from here you can check the connectivity options battery and uh, here we have some uh, shortcuts you can edit it out and from the bottom you can go to the settings and you can access the power buttons and by the way we also have the advanced reboot option in this room so the quick settings looks pretty much cool because of this cloak right here so in the settings here we have weeder 
and in the reader we have all available customizations first of all we have the themes here we have monet engine from here you can use any custom color you can change the white luminance and do a lot of stuff using uh, this option let me decrease the brightness it little bit and after it here we have a uh, use black theme you can change the font size you can change the icon pack you can change the icon shape signal icon style wi-fi icon style and from here we have the status bar and from here you can enable or disable the icons for the status bar we, you can also enable the uh, colored icons and here we have some other icons you can change the battery style battery percentage and uh, uh, privacy indicators then we have quick settings then we have lock screen tweaks from here you can change the lock screen uh, clock style let's try as funny and it just looks like this and let's try the oxygen over style and it will look like this it looks pretty much cool so if we go to this spark circle it gonna look like this it is pretty much beautiful so then we have the about reader after it here we have connectivity options apps notification bad so the battery backup of this rom is pretty much stable and as you can see here it is uh, completely charged and from here you can check the battery usage uh, then we have the uh, battery manager right here then we have you can note the battery temperature so the battery backup of this rom is really awesome so after it here we have storage sound and vibration and in the sound and vibration here we have the dolby atmos pre-installed you can use it as uh, well according to your taste and uh, this is a plus point to this rom then we have display option in the display we have uh, usually uh, the uh, options from the previous roms from here you can enable or disable the dark theme you can change the uh, display size and text size and uh, here you can also board the text and you can make the text high contrast right from here you can also enable the night light which is working fine you can change its intensity and then here we have the color profile right here then from here you can uh, set up the minimum refresh rate so 60 hertz or 90 hertz and you can also set the maximum uh, refresh rate to 90 hertz or 60 hertz and you can also low you can also set the low power refresh rate and by default it is on the 60 hertz then we have screen saver and uh, then we have allow window level blurs tap to wake let's check if it is working as you can see here it is working fine so after it here we have access uh, then we have the wallpaper and style then we have accessibility security in the security we have on screen locks and fingerprint working we don't have the face unlock uh, in this room as you can see here uh, face unlock is not available in the list so you can use the on screen locks and you can use the fingerprint as well so after it we have, we have privacy location safety emergency digital well-being and then we have google system in the system we have languages and input live translate gestures from here you can uh, set up the quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is very useful feature you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand and it is my favorite feature from the Android 13 and Android 12 and you can also set up the press and hold power button and you can also use the prevent ringing then we have date and time backup system updates rules multiple users reset options and at the end you can check your Android version which is Android 13 and VOS version 2.0 the security patch of this ROM is also uh, latest 5 November 2022 and the ROM is pretty much stable yes you can use it as your daily driver if you want to use it and uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM everything is just working fine but there are some cons uh, in this ROM uh, if we compare this ROM to the previous ROMs the first one is we don't have the unlimited photos storage option in this ROM we don't have the option to maximize the system performance and uh, other than that everything is just stable and everything is just working fine and if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 11 then just download the rom from the link in the description and installing process is pretty much simple uh, like other roms just reboot your device into any installed custom recovery go to uh, format and format your data then uh, go back and uh, install your downloaded rom and then reboot and you will be booted up on this rom 
So this was the review of videos for our Redmi Note 11. I hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace.